All right, so it is Tuesday afternoon, and it is just an absolutely gorgeous day here in eastern Pennsylvania. Um, get a little bit of cloud cover now because there is a cold front coming, but most of the day was beautiful and sunny. I was able to mow the lawn for the first time this season, uh, put some fertilizer down. Um, figured it was a good day for that because we should get a quarter to a half inch of rain and whatever uh, storms come tonight. So, uh, but I figured I'd get tomorrow's. Uh, vlog started um, like I said it's, it's Tuesday afternoon and we were scheduled off today we worked yesterday um, did a college baseball game down in New York and um, they usually don't film those so uh, we were supposed to go to New York tomorrow that was the schedule off today and in uh, New York City charter run tomorrow um, I don't know what happened with the scheduling if somebody called in sick or if um, what went on but she had to shuffle some stuff around so I actually got a better trip as far as I'm concerned because I'm not a big fan of New York City we do what we need to do and we go where we need to go but I'm not a big fan of New York City so all I have to do tomorrow is uh, deadhead down to Atlantic City um, to one of the casinos and pick up a group that was down there overnight and bring them back tomorrow afternoon so I think we're starting um, probably about 12 noonish and heading down there for a 3 three thirty pickup and then bring them back up this way and uh, so that'll make for an easy day I'll be able to take the GoPro out and uh, film and talk to you guys as I'm driving down to Atlantic City tomorrow afternoon don't know what I'll be able to do on the way back up as you know because I don't like to film too much when I have passengers in the bus but uh, we'll see what we can do with it but at least I get to do some GoPro footage and uh, some commentary as I drive down to Atlantic City tomorrow but like I said um, I don't mind going to New York but it's not one of my favorite places so uh, this works out pretty good going down to Atlantic City and picking up that group and bringing them back so but I wanted to show you what kind of a day we were having today and I wanted to tell you kinda how our week got started and um, how it's working out so far but we will talk to you more tomorrow when we get in the bus and when we start heading down that way all right, well, it's Wednesday morning and we are up here at the bus. Uh, we just got loaded up, set the GPS up, and set the GoPro up, and went over and parked the Jeep. Now all we gotta do is uh, pre-trip this thing and get ready to go. Like I said, we gotta go down to Atlantic City and pick up a group that stayed overnight and uh, bring them back up here. We got three drop-offs. We got one in Tamaqua and then uh, two up this way, and then and that'll be it and we should probably be back before dark as long as traffic isn't an issue um so don't mind me i got a cold again picked it up on uh easter sunday got a sore throat sunday afternoon and just kind of progressed into a nice little head cold here so if i sound a little stuffed up that's why but yeah in a little bit we're gonna get rolling and head on down there and pick them up so we should be able to talk to you a little bit on the way down with the GoPro and once we get the passengers in the bus then I uh, won't be able to do much with the GoPro um, might be able to film some maybe not but um, then we'll have to put that those segments to music if uh, I am able to film anything so anyway once we get rolling uh, we'll talk to you we're probably gonna head down through Jim Thorpe and pick up the turnpike in Lee Heighton and head on down through Philly and down the Atlantic City Expressway and hopefully we can time it just right because we got to park underneath the casino so we can't just pull in there and sit and wait half hour till the group is ready so we got to kind of time it just right to pick them up so we'll see how it goes and we'll talk to you uh, on the way down there all right so making our way down to Atlantic City we have made it to Jim Thorpe Pennsylvania which is the route I told you I was gonna take now in tourism circles this is affectionately known as the Switzerland of Pennsylvania because of the way it's nestled into the mountains here and you'll see when we come around this bend we get down into the downtown area and uh, it gets a little tight I make a right turn and then a left turn and then uh, Go right back up the mountain we're down the valley along the lehigh river right here and this is the old part of jim thorpe this is the downtown area that's the railroad station right there ahead of us okay i want to make sure she wasn't crossing 
crossing. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like you can go anywhere, but we're going to go right back up into those mountains there ahead of us. Oh, they got a blinking light. Oh, well, they're paving the street there. That's why they have it as a blinking light. See what I mean by it being tight in here? Continue on this road for 3.5 miles. Not much room for error, especially when somebody's kind of on the wrong side of the road. Um... And just like that, we'll be out of town here. We go past this Turkey Hill and this beer distributor, and then we go up the hill and out of town and head towards Lee Heighton. And from there, we, this is Route 209, and we'll stay on 209, and we'll take that over to uh, the turnpike and then go down through the tunnel, which the GPS doesn't want to route me through the tunnel. Um, I'm not sure why. Um, when I switched it over to bus from truck, did not want to uh, route me through the tunnel. It will take me every which way but, and then when I get up on the turnpike and get close to the tunnel, and it tells me that there's no legal route to get where I'm going and it shuts down the trip. And then when I get out the tunnel on the other side, I gotta fiddle around with it and get the route back up again. So I don't know what the story is, but I mean, it, there's no problem with taking passengers through the tunnel. The only thing you can't take through the tunnel is, uh, Explosives and flammables and bulk and stuff like that hazmat materials, but you can take passengers through the tunnel So it's not a height issue. It's not a weight issue. It's not a passenger issue But this GPS does not want to take me through the Lehigh Tunnel It's kind of like a gateway to the Pocono Mountains coming up through this way because if you go up through uh, Jim Thorpe and then hook a right and you head on up toward Lake Harmony and uh, the, the Pocono Resorts See, it's a bit of a challenging road. Now we got road work ahead here, too. Let's see what this is about. A few years ago, they were working on the bridge down here. I wonder if that's not what they're doing again. No, not yet. Maybe tree work. The state's been clearing away trees from the overhanging the road, I guess, for the winter time so that they don't come down on the road and in miles, cause problems. We got a flag man up here in a one lane road, so we'll see what this is about, and then we'll shut her down for a while and talk to you when we get on the interstate. to run the Schoolkill Expressway right down through Philadelphia. Uh, 476 past the interchange for this road was 
under construction and cut down from three lanes to one lane and all tied up. So this has its moments, but it's kind of a six of one, half dozen of the other. And uh, once we get past Center City, we should easily break free. And uh, actually, probably once we get past Route 1, we'll break free. And we're all pretty much right to the Walt Whitman Bridge, and then it's just a matter of jumping on the Atlantic City Expressway and continuing our way across New Jersey. Uh, this time of day, the school kill isn't all that bad, uh, relatively speaking. It slows down. We're only doing 40 miles an hour, but it's not that bad at the moment. As long as we keep going at this speed, we'll be in good shape. And like I said, we really can't get down there too early we can't sit in the bus bays underneath the casino and, and wait for the group so we got to kind of try and time it that we get there right when they're ready to load up so it won't hurt us to kind of roll slowly through Philadelphia here but sitting up there at 476 at a dead stop that might have caused a problem and you got to go down to 95 and then come back 10 miles north up uh, along the airport so don't know what that would have done at this point in time. Now, coming home tonight is going to be a different story. We picked these guys up at 2.45. We should roll by 3, 3.15. That's going to put us in prime rush hour traffic here. And uh, in that case, then it might be better to go down 95 and come around 4.76 and avoid this thing. Because in rush hour, this thing is a bear. Anybody who's driven commercially or even recreationally here at Southeastern PA knows the Schuylkill Expressway can be a real mess. Uh, but off peak hour, it's not too bad. Coming up here on Germantown, Wissahick and Park exit. Like I said, we're rolling along about 40 mile an hour, so it's not really can't handle. And, a nice day 67 degrees out the trees are getting green looking like summer down this way we still got a ways to go up our way till we get the full leaf out but down here they're almost a full leaf out and a good summertime look to it so. all right as we roll down the atlantic city expressway here we are 14 miles from where we need to pick up our group at and i gotta say it's days like this that sometimes make me miss trucking been a nice peaceful ride down here um, traffic actually wasn't bad in Philly was its normal deal but weekday traffic on the Atlantic City Expressway is a lot of times what you see here um, at least in the spring and fall I'm not sure about the summer so much when the kids are out of school but the weekends this thing's pretty well jammed up uh, especially Sunday nights heading back to Philadelphia that uh, westbound side over there is pretty much stop and go all the way from the shore back to Philly and uh, but traffic on the weekend Saturday if you come down here Sunday a lot lot heavier traffic coming down here today it's just been relaxing and, and just a really nice trip and peaceful not that I don't like my passengers but sometimes it's nice to just have a nice quiet ride um, don't have to worry about anybody looking over my shoulder all that kind of stuff so it's been an enjoyable ride down here especially with this nice weather the only problem that we've had so far today is battling a few wind gusts that give me a shove one way or the other because we had rain yesterday and of course after we have a storm then it gets windy so but that's the worst of it really it's just a gorgeous day out today not a cloud in the sky uh, beautiful sunshine all right, and here we are in Atlantic City. And I was hoping for a couple red lights, but we aren't going to get one. Caesar's right there ahead of us. And you watch these people here. They don't step off that curb. In 500 feet, turn right on Atlantic Avenue. Thomas, we're going to turn right on Atlantic Avenue here. We're about 15 minutes early, almost 20 minutes early. I was going to stop in the middle there. There's a welcome center um, in the middle of the turnpike, but posted no motor coaches. 
so ain't no problem to just go that way. So we aren't even one mile away from where we need to be, but at least we got this light red. And we're just going to sit here and wait this right turn out. Buy us a minute or two. We're picking up at the Tropicana. Which is a couple of blocks to our right or south. six up here and hope that we can sit for a little bit. Here. 
Well, we had a good ride and a bad ride. Good ride in that there wasn't much in the way of traffic going down. Uh, the skies were blue. It was a beautiful dry day. Weather was nice. Temperatures were warm. Coming back out, um, hit a little more traffic in Philly um, because it was rush hour. We didn't go up to school kill. Like I said, we went up around 476, but there was still a lot of traffic out there. The bad day comes from this stuffy nose. And then my ears went shut. And my head is so, the, the pressure in my sinuses right now is so strong that once my ears went shut, they kind of stayed shut for a while and I couldn't open them back up. It um, wasn't until I got out of the bus and helped unload some of the luggage that the pressure broke and the ears opened up. So, but we're still stuffed up. I'm sure you can hear it. But we're done. It's still daylight yet and we're heading home. Uh, when I'm going to get to work on these clips, I don't know because I got tomorrow and, and Friday and even Saturday and Saturday may be a longer day than I thought I thought I was going to be starting at noon and work until about five doing a wedding shuttle or whatever but now it turns out that I may be doing something else that may start at six and not end until uh, late in the evening so depends on if anything needs to be shuffled around if drivers uh, run out of hours or whatever it's one of the things with this business is driver gets back late and you got to start moving drivers around so that you can do the runs legally so um so saturday's still up in the air as to exactly what i'm going to do but tomorrow's a medium length day friday is a longer day and then saturday could be short could be long so i don't know but anyway we're done and we're gonna head home swing by mcdonald's and grab ourselves a quick supper and and head on home and maybe try to work on some of these a little bit we'll see so all right we'll talk to you the next one